Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Hi, it's Simon, and it feels like AI is fast becoming just a standard part of people's workflow. So much so that if you are not using it, you're probably already at a disadvantage and being left behind, particularly for you freelancers and solo business owners like me. So here is my list of some seriously amazing AI apps that I think you should know about across iPhone, iPad, desktop, so that you can go leverage your time like a boss, whatever you do. I've put them into three categories, AI writing tools, AI learning and research tools, and AI apps for productivity and business. Actually, before the writing apps, my first recommendation is called futuretools.io, and that's because AI development and new tech development seems to be moving increasingly fast. And so this website is actually a great platform that gathers the most recent new apps and AI tools that you need to know about as they're released. Right, first, writing, Jasper AI. Now this is a paid app, but possibly the number one paid AI tool I found, and I love it for writing and scripting. A great assistant to speed up and improve your writing. For things like emails, website copy, and for me, writing content. It writes in 25 different languages, it's optimized for CEO, and you can get your first 10,000 words for free to give it a go, so you've got no excuse. Give Jasper a try, I really rate it. And Copy AI is a great competitor to that. It's also worth checking that out as it does a similar thing. It's a great option if you write any kind of copy in your work or side hustle. There's also a notable mention here for Moonbeam. Now this is an app more focused on long form writing like essays, newsletters, maybe lesson plans, that kind of thing. Uh, just drop your favorite option though if you've got another example that should be in this list in the comments below. Now we can't move on from this section without talking about things like ChatGPT, but particularly also Notion and Notion AI. They have to get a mention here. If you are a Notion user like I am for your workspace, um, I use them both, that and ChatGPT, uh, as aids to help the drafting process and speed up what I can create within the system. And it leaves me more time to think about the key ideas I want to explore. I'm not trying to get it to write it for me. They're also really great tools to repurpose existing writing into other formats. I really like ChatGPT for this. You can turn long form scripts for like things like YouTube videos into Twitter threads. That's really cool, it draws out the key ideas and adapts them, so really you just need to paste in an existing script, give it a detailed prompt, and away you go. And speaking of this, if you are a creator and have never had the time to write up those captions for your things like videos and reels, do check out CapCut. Now it will do auto captioning and highlight words as they are spoken. You've probably seen this kind of thing on Reels and TikTok all the time, but it does a lot for free, that app, and well worth looking at. And if you want a ton of other great AI apps for content creation and visual design, you should watch the kind of sister video to this. It's coming up soon on the channel. I'm just filming it at the moment. Just make sure you're subscribed here with those notifications turned on and you can see it when I release it. And I'll link it at the end of this video when it's ready too. Okay, learning and researching is up next, and the first app is Perplexity.io. This acts essentially as a personal research assistant. In fact, it's a search tool, but it offers answers and then references to back those answers up, giving it a real advantage over others. You'll get a list of answers with links connected to them that you can click on and look at. And this is a super cool option for students, maybe researchers, academic people, anyone doing something where you wanna look up references and then get the specific answers in detail. It's really powerful, I'm loving it for this kind of thing. Now, the next one is Wizdolia. This is an absolutely amazing find for learning. It will create, very simply, flashcards based on any article, PDF, or YouTube video that you're looking at in your browser. So it means you can engage in more active learning and make sure that you're truly retaining things. This is free, it's a Chrome extension, you need to get on it. I think it's an absolutely brilliant find and very much near the top of my list. Another great Chrome extension to check out is the YouTube Summaries uh, ChatGPT extension. I think this is a great option if you're wanting to watch a video and get a summary of it. Now, it's worth saying, AI should never replace 
us entirely, right? Of course, but it can give us space and free up time to focus on our own development. And I think the best way, therefore, to safeguard your career against artificial intelligence is to invest in your own human intelligence. And that's where brilliant.org comes in this week. I think this is one of the best ways to learn interactively with thousands of lessons from foundational and advanced maths to AI, computer science, hypothesis testing and more. And they're adding new lessons every month. And given your interest, if you're watching this video in leveraging AI, Brilliant's visual hands-on approach is such an effective and engaging way to master the key concepts behind today's technology, which is critical for staying ahead of the curve. I'm currently doing the Neural Networks course, really interesting to get a little bit more understanding about the tech behind AI, and the Computer Science Fundamentals course has been fantastic for me as a currently no code creator. Brilliant is a low pressure interactive way to be a student again on your own terms whilst learning to think in new ways. And I can learn anywhere, anytime on my phone, computer, tablet, all of that whilst AI does my other work for me. So definitely give Brilliant a try. The best thing is you can try Brilliant for free for a full 30 days just by visiting brilliant.org forward slash better creating or click on the link in the description. Plus the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So thanks Brilliant for sponsoring this bit of the video. So next category, AI productivity. And I'd say most of us have taken a few meeting notes in our time and often online on something like Zoom, right? We'll take a look at this. Otter voice notes and Otter AI for transcripts. So I discovered this on a Zoom meeting the other day and the person I was talking to had invited a third person into the room, the Zoom room, that was Otter AI. And it essentially created a transcript of our conversation. On top of that, the Otter Voice Notes app on your phone will transcribe your notes as you dictate to it. The AI behind these two apps is super powerful. It adds paragraphs, punctuation, even automated note summaries. Now, within this productivity category, we need to look at autonomous AI in general and Asian GPT. Okay, so with this one, you're essentially training a standalone system for you to do whatever you want. This is probably one of the biggest options to consider. It's a bit more in depth, but what makes it different to ChatGPT is that it will learn from the focus and input you give it and then operate automatically on its own. So it becomes a kind of dedicated agent to help you with the specific task you train it on. So you would literally name it, give it a goal, and it will get to work. If you get this right and hone the model, you could soon have a job specific assistant to help you do some serious parts of your workflow. I definitely need to research this further. And so should you probably, either because it can help you or steal your job. So you may have seen some of the recent productivity tools such as Motion and Superhuman that use AI as part of what they do to plan your calendar or speed up how you process your admin and emails. But these, I think, likely are soon to become far less attractive with the introduction of two particular things, Microsoft's new Copilot and then the Google equivalent in the Google workspace. So Copilot in 365, this can generate the first draft in Word, create PowerPoint presentations from a prompt and even help you clear your inbox in Outlook. And with the new Loop app that I'm talking about quite a bit on the channel, it can also integrate into what is a similar kind of block-based Notion system soon, so we should keep an eye out for that. Google's new AI features will also do some similar things within the Google workspace, keep an eye out for these and start testing them out. Hello, it's Future Simon here. Since I recorded the first bit of this, I've discovered a couple of excellent AI assistant Chrome extensions uh, too, which I would love you to know about. They're called Cider and Monica. So these are free to use. Notably with Monica, you get 30 prompts a day but that's fine for most people. And they do a lot. They've just got these little sidebars. You can bring them up and they'll work across any web page, which is really cool. So they'll go further than workspace specific co-pilots. Great options for this. I particularly like Monica for fast responses to emails. You can use that really beautifully. Although I think I probably prefer Cider's UI a tiny bit more, but really worth looking at. Uh, uses chat GPT as a base. Uh, check them out. And what's also really cool is you have these little buttons 
that are also always available and you'll find on certain websites they'll bring up like summarize buttons and various other things so that's a really great productivity tool to try out for free give them a go and of course we should do a little reminder that notion as my personal go-to workspace and my second brain for staying organized is great with the Notion AI integration. It's a fab way to work within your workspace and take notes with a bit of help. And what's super exciting for Notion users is that there are now new AI database columns uh, that will summarize and add key information and even do a custom autofill within a database property. More on that coming soon on the channel and also make sure to check out my Notion Life OS templates via the link below. Next up, AI tools for your business. If you want to push your business forward online with AI, an obvious place to begin is probably something like coding or creating a website. And there are some mind blowing website builders out there that will basically come up with web pages, subscriber management tools, branding, and the whole shebang, all through AI. It's fab. So Mixo.io and Sitekick AI are really great for testing out some ideas and seeing if building a full version of that website is gonna be for you in the future. And Durable AI is a full-on auto AI website builder that will generate an entire website for you in seconds. A brilliant option to get started. It allows you also then to change and correct things personally, obviously like by hand, uh, and even give more AI prompt to adapt specific sections. Now, for full-on coders and developers out there, I hope you're aware by now of the GitHub Copilot. This is a serious breakthrough, I think, for coding work and likely a bit scary for some coders. It will automatically give you coding suggestions and write common pieces of code for you. It will help coders move past the heavy lifting and low level coding process and allow them to focus on functionality and problem solving and the ideas behind what they're building. So that is pretty amazing. Okay, make sure to check out that Creative AI Apps video when it's ready and this video next for more on some other tech and ideas that have truly simplified my working day this year and could for you too. And more here on the power of AI in your day to day. It would be awesome if you left a comment, amazing if you subscribed if you haven't, and I'd better get back to creating. See you soon.